We've all experienced a taste of global warming and its potential effects, and sustainability doesn't seem so theoretical anymore. Communities around the world have to face this reality, which goes some way to explain why an eco-friendly and human-centered approach is also making inroads in the fashion world. This is a center pillar of a design center in Cape Town, and Karishma attended the opening. Located in Cape Town's industrial area, the design center is filled with color and light, in complete contrast to the sweatshop atmosphere that for so long has been associated with the garment industry. Sustainability meets efficiency with Africa's first ever design center, focusing on sustainable fashion and eco waste forward on many platforms. Mela was thrilled to be invited to the launch of such an incredible initiative. The center aims to keep staff and customers in touch with the natural world, so an outdoor launch was absolutely appropriate. Even the promise of rain was welcome, and if anything, the weather seemed a good omen for the venture. It gives me great privilege to welcome you to the launch of Africa's first green design center. <laughs> this is a flagship project for CEO Herman Pillay a bit more about the design center. This is the first green design center in Africa. We taken measures a couple months ago when we sat down and we strategized into focusing on how can we reduce our carbon footprint and our impact on the environment. And that's one of the reasons why we built a sustainable green design center. What does sustainable fashion mean to you? Sustainable fashion to me is conscious fashion that has a longevity attached to it. That's sustainable fashion. Fashion that promotes uh, fair labor wages. It's fashion that promotes consciousness when it comes to uh, your environmental footprint. It's fashion that is here not just for today, but that is here for tomorrow as well. What are your thoughts on sustainable fashion within South Africa? I think it's something that needs to get more focus and more attention. I feel that people take fashion for granted. We have so much of South African talent in regards to designers in South Africa that that resource is not even explored or tapped into. So I feel that in regards to sustainability, we need to look at, at many factors that contribute towards it. One being the talent, which, which go, boils onto people. And I think that the moment we, we, we tap onto that resource and we really focus on South African talent and we work on growing that talent, it leads to sustainable employment. It leads to many factors of sustainability in regards to this industry. I see a beautiful food garden behind us. Tell me a bit more about that. The sustainable vegetable garden, which means that we recycle all the waste back into the garden in, the, in terms of compost. So all the leaves that fall, all the shrubs that fall down and die, we put them back into the garden. We endorse healthy living, healthy lifestyles, and we've catered for our staff. So all the vegetable that you see here goes into the staff cafeteria. It's all about productivity. How do you get the best out of your employees? You create a place for them where they're comfortable, where they're healthy and they're happy. The theme of sustainability was carried through into the catering and marketing elements of the launch event itself, which was coordinated by Cyril Nike. Cyril, what goes into putting together an event like today? Karishma, a lot of hard work. Everything that we did, from the food to the wine that we drank, the wine is the first of its kind that's fully sustainable, made right here in Cape Town. And I think, you know, just in terms of the whole design center, what it stands for, we were very careful to incorporate sustainability throughout. So we had atmospheric water because of the water problem in Cape Town. So there were various touch points that spoke about not just the element of fashion and how evolved fashions became, but also just in terms of sustainability from A to Z of an event. While environmental and social awareness shape the means, the purpose of the center is to create fashionable garments that appeal to the market. The range on the ramp boded well for the future, especially with sustainability as an integral part of the sales proposition. 